What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I recently got at EB Games. Let's get right into this. Okay, so before I share with you exactly what I got recently at EB Games, I'm going to explain to you why I had to go back to EB Games in the first place. So, last year at Black Friday, I ended up having to purchase a new PS4 controller because my prior gold one only lasted me six months and I forgot to get a one year warranty whenever I purchased that controller. So in the meantime, after that controller went dead on me, I was using my backup one, the PlayStation 4 controller that came with my system whenever I purchased it. And for last year's Black Friday, I decided to purchase another gold controller to replace the one that was faulty. So I ended up doing that, and with this gold controller, I finally got a one-year warranty with it. And on top of that, because the Black Friday sales for EB Games for the controllers, controllers go down to about $40, I decided to purchase another second controller to use as a backup, and I purchased a Midnight Blue controller. So with that being said, I only purchased a one-year warranty on the gold controller, and I only used the gold controller right off the bat. The Midnight Blue one, I never got the one-year warranty, and I honestly didn't open it up until recently. So with the gold controller, it only lasted me up until September recently. That's when I started to have issues with it. So I ended up after about a couple of weeks because of my work schedule, I ended up going back to EB Games because I was going to be going to the one that's closest to me. I have two that are close to me. They're both about 30 minutes away in either direction. So I was going to the one... Uh, area anyway so i decided to bring my controller with me and take it to eb games upon arriving at eb games they told me that the warranty in order for me to warranty this controller for another controller i would have to pay 30 dollars because whenever i purchased this controller with the one-year warranty they were only 40 dollars now it's full price so if i want a new controller with the one-year warranty i have to pay the difference of 30 dollars which i thought was completely wrong and it ended up being 100 percent wrong so i ended up contacting the other eb games that is 30 minutes in the opposite direction of home and they told me no it's an even exchange you bought the warranty for the controller you didn't buy the warranty for the price range if that makes sense and on top of that i ended up uh, calling another one another EB Games store that is farther away, and they told me the same thing. So they ended up telling me, simply go back in, explain to her how the policy works, explain that I've already called other stores, and they confirmed that this is how the policy works, and see if that maybe changes your mind, maybe she forgot how the policy works, whatever. If that doesn't work, they recommend me contacting customer service. So I ended up going back in, and she was rude the second time I went back in, telling me this is how it is, this is how it always is, all the other EB games are doing it wrong. So I decided, okay, I might as well contact customer service. And I did that. They ended up calling call me back saying they talked to her at that EB games location. She was a new person. She didn't understand the policy. She now knows. And they said to go back or the guy who was at headquarters decided he would drive the hour drive just to bring me a new controller, which I thought was really nice, but I didn't want to make anybody go out of their way just to help me out. So I decided I'm going to wait until the next time I'm at either locations, EB Games, and I was going to bring the controller. So that's what I recently did. I went and exchanged that controller. It wasn't the same store that I went to prior where they declined me. I just was in the town at the next one, so I decided to bring it there with me. So that's what I did. That's a little backstory of as to why I had to go to EB Games in the first place. So... Prior to me taking this controller in, I decided to open up my Midnight Blue controller, the one that was brand new out of the box. I just never opened it until eight months after purchasing it, and I never got the one-year warranty with that one. And that controller there, I used my Midnight Blue one while I waited to go to the next EB Games to trade in my gold one that was faulty. The Midnight Blue one, however, only lasted me about a month. And then the left analog stick started what is called drifting. So if I'm in the menus, it's automatically scrolling through the menus. If I'm in game, if let's say it's a shooter game, it's automatically aiming. It was pulling to the left on the screen, which I didn't really notice. I noticed it more in NHL because if you have the puck in NHL, if your analog stick is drifting, 
which it was the right analog stick, actually. It wasn't the left one, it was the right one. That's the one to aim. If you have the puck and your analog stick is drifting, you will not be able to skate with the puck. So I knew there was an issue there. I started to use my other controller as my backup one, the one that came with my PS4. It worked fine. And upon looking at my controller, you could tell that whenever I removed the analog stick, it would stay in that position unless moved back. It wouldn't bounce back on its own, which pissed me off because that's the controller I did not get the one-year warranty with. So I ended up going to EB Games, trading in the gold controller for warranty, and I ended up having to purchase or ended up having to get for warranty another gold controller because they say the only way that they can give you a different colored controller is if they're out of stock. So they ended up having to per uh, give me a gold controller only thing that I had to purchase was $8 for another one-year warranty. Since I've been having bad luck with controllers, I decided to get another warranty for this one. So I have another one-year warranty with this controller here. And gold controllers don't last me more than eight months. The first one lasted me six months. The last one lasted me eight. So this one, I don't feel too hopeful. Next time, I'm going to be demanding to get a different one because I don't know if it's something with the gold controllers. Comment down below if you have had issues with gold controllers. But I have. So I ended up getting this one. On top of that, I ended up trading in my Midnight Blue one, and I got $25 trade-in value, which sucked because I paid $40 for it. It was brand new. It only lasted me a month out of box. But there's no point in me keeping something around that I cannot use because I'm not going to bother playing because certain games that I like playing, I cannot play with the analog stick doing that. So with that, I ended up purchasing with my $25 trade-in value, Wreckfest. Now this was a used copy. I didn't bother buying a brand new. I was about to and they convinced me not to because this one just came in the day before. The person that owned it basically he just barely played it. He didn't like it. He decided to trade it in. That's exact, exactly what he did. I looked at the disc. It was perfectly clean. Nothing wrong with it. No damage on the disc. No damage on this. And it was I think 20... I want to say 26 or 27 dollars for this but i had my i had my 25 dollar value trade-in value for my controller on top of this i did because it's a used game purchase a one-year warranty but because it's at such a reduced price i'm only paying four dollars uh, 350 for it i think it equaled out to be since i'm only paying three dollars and fifty cents for this the one-year warranty only cost me a dollar fifty so i only Paid $1.50 for the one-year warranty, and in total, this cost me around $5 with the one-year warranty. So, I ended up getting this game with my trade-in value of my controller that was faulty. And on top of that, I ended up getting a new controller at EB Games with a one-year warranty as well. Because I find controllers, they don't last for me. And EB Games themselves, the employees told me that if you are regularly gaming at least a couple hours every day or a little bit every day, then you should go through two to three controllers a year. So the fact that I go through one controller every about eight months is pretty good in their eyes, but I'm definitely in the future always going to buy my controllers at EB Games, and I'm always going to buy the one-year warranty with them because I know there's a few people that, even if they have nothing wrong with their controller, if they bought the one-year warranty, they bring it in, say something's wrong with it, and they get a new controller. So... Not that I would do that, but that is something that EB Games, because most EB Games, they have no way to check to see if it is or is not working. So they ended up warranting stuff regardless. So I'm now always going to get the one you're warranty with my controllers since they don't last me too long. And I'm after this one here, if this one doesn't last me too long, I'm definitely not going with the gold one again. I'm going to be demanding to talk to a manager and demanding a different color because I don't know if it is this one here. And like the gold ones. And on top of that, I find the gold ones discolor. It turns the handle here, if you game a lot, it turns to almost like an orange. And it just looks disgusting on the controllers. Whereas the dark colored ones, I never had any discoloration. So this is my recent pickups, if you will, from EB Games. The recent stuff I had to go to EB Games to get. I wasn't really looking for Wreckfest to get that day. I was going to purchase it on its own. It is a fun game. Don't get me wrong, it's just definitely not something I would pay $40 for. I'm glad I only paid $5 for it. So, at the end of the day, I was happy. I got a new controller. My controller's working now. I have one-year warranty with it, and I got a good game out of it. 
something that is fun at least. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.